Uh-oh. Some scary creatures have taken over the garden. How did this happen? Let's work together to solve this word problem. Tap on the word problem to hear it read aloud. Press the green button. Four zombies were playing in the garden. At midnight, more zombies joined the party. Then there were seven zombies total. How many zombies joined at midnight? Let's start by finding the key details in this word problem. How many zombies were playing in the garden? Four zombies. You got it! Four zombies were playing in the garden. Spooky! Let's look for another important detail. How many zombies joined at midnight? More zombies. Nice! More zombies joined at midnight. The word problem doesn't tell us how many. In total, how many zombies were in the garden? Seven zombies. Good job! We are trying to find out how many zombies joined at midnight. Which equation matches the word problem? Four plus three equals blank. Oops! Remember, the word total means we should add. Four plus blank equals seven. Good job! How many zombies joined at midnight? Use the stickers to figure it out. Press the green button when you're done. This is the final step. Pick the option that has the correct equation and the right answer. Four plus three equals seven. Three zombies joined at midnight. Good work! But where did all those pirates come from? Tap on the word problem to hear it read aloud. Seven zombies were playing in the garden. At dawn, some pirates joined the party. Then there were 13 scary creatures total. How many pirates came at dawn? Let's solve this word problem. Which equation can we use to find out how many pirates came to the garden? Seven plus blank equals 13. Good thinking! Now let's solve the equation. Pick the option that has the correct equation and the right answer. Seven plus six equals 13. Six pirates joined at dawn. R. Seven plus six equals 13. Six more pirates came at dawn. You solved the mystery! Happy Halloween! Today we're going to learn about even numbers and odd numbers. A number is even if it can be divided into two equal groups. Let's check if the number four is even or odd. Divide the cats into black and orange. There are two baskets, and each one has the same amount of cats. That means the number four is even. Let's check if the number five is even or odd. 
divide the animals into black animals and orange animals. You put the same number of animals in each basket, but there is one left over. That means the number five is odd. Connect the expressions to their answers. Connect the expressions to their answers. Great! You match them! The number 11 can be divided into two fives with one left over. That means 11 is odd. Connect the expressions to their answers. Connect the expressions to their answers. Great! You match them! The number 15 can be divided into two sevens with one left over. That means 15 is odd. Drag the odd numbers. To the left, drag the even numbers. To the right. 11 3 8 2 12 Great job! Let's do it again. Drag the odd numbers. To the left, drag the even numbers. To the right. 2 17 10 13 7 Can the number seven. be divided? That's right. Did you notice that if the one's place is odd, then the whole number is odd? The number 7 is odd. And so is the number 17. Finish the sentence. The number 8 is even. That's right. Let's do another one. Fill in the blank. The number 24 is even. That's it. The number 24 is even. The number 21 is odd. You got it. The number 21 is odd. Happy Halloween. Today, we're going to learn another way to think of equations. This picture shows that 3 pink plus 1 yellow equals 4 total. 3 and 1 are parts of a whole. The same picture can show a subtraction. 4 total minus 1 yellow equals 3 pink. Select all the equations that match the picture. 1 plus 3 equals 4. 3 plus 1 equals 4. 4 minus 1 equals 3. Good job! Write as many equations as you can to match the picture. Press the green button when you're done.
Select all the equations that match the picture. 11 minus 4 equals 6. 15 minus 4 equals 11. 4 plus 11 equals 15. Listen carefully. Three of these equations match the picture. Select all the equations that match the picture. 15 minus 11 equals 4. That's right. 9 plus what equals 16? Nine plus what equals sixteen? Try again. You will need sixteen bugs total inside the frames. Drag the bugs to the frames to s good thinking. 16 represents the whole. The numbers 9 and 7 are parts of the whole. 16 minus what equals 9? 9 part. The numbers 9 and 7 are parts of the whole. 12 plus what equals 20? 12 and 8 are parts of the whole. 20 minus what equals 12? Super! The numbers 12 and 8 are parts of the whole. Thanks for playing with me. Happy Halloween! Today we're going to learn about arrays. Arrays are made of rows and columns. Rows go across and columns go down. This array has one row. This array has one column. Drag the hats to make the array have three rows and three columns. Remember, rows go across and columns go down. Nice! You made an array with three rows and three columns. Drag pumpkins to make the array have four rows and three columns. an array with four rows and three columns. Drag bugs into the array to make the array have five rows and two columns. You 
made an array with five rows and two columns. Drag the correct numbers to the blanks to describe the array. Three, four. Good job. Which two expressions can you use to describe the array? Four plus four plus four. Three plus three plus three plus three. Great. Use the expression to find out how many candy corns are in the array. Twelve. Great! There are twelve candy corns in the array. Drag the correct numbers to the blanks to describe the array. Four. Two. Yay! There are four rows and two columns. Which two expressions can you use to describe the array? Four plus four. Two plus two plus two plus two. Good thinking. Happy Halloween. Today we're going to do fast math. How many subtractions can you solve in 40 seconds? Before we begin, let's do some warm-ups. Drag the number to the blank to solve the equation. Awesome! 13 minus 8 equals 5. Let's do another one. Drag the numbers to the dotted rectangles to solve the equation. Nice work! 18 minus 6 equals 12. Let's do another one. Solve the equation. Good work! Let's do one more. Last one. Can you solve the equation? You did it! It's time for some fast math. Solve the equations to get a bingo. Bingo! You flipped over three cards in a row. Now let's try subtracting even faster. Solve the equations to get a bingo. Oops! Oops! Solve the equations. Thanks for playing with me.